Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proof of Text Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter Framework Beginner Tutorial, and this is our part number 30. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about input library in Code Igniter. And also, guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Code Igniter Framework Tutorial. So basically guys, so far we had discussed about several native libraries in Code Igniter. So as we can see that these all libraries we had discussed in great detail in our previous video session. Also we had discussed about custom library in Code Igniter. So inside this video we are going to discuss about input library. So what basically it is. So if I back to editor. Now we are going to make a HTML form. By the help of that form actually we are going to submit some data and by submitting we are going to receive from the controller and while we are going to use called input library to receive all the parameters of the submitted HTML form. So back to our views folder and before that just to move to controllers folder open up my URI controller and inside this controller I am going to call a view file. So public function let's say that my and simply let's say HTML and inside this function I'm going to call a view file so let's say this load view and inside this view function we're going to pass a parameter as the view file name so basically let's input underscore HTML and this will be the file name so if I copy the file name go to views folder and inside this views folder, we are going to create the file something called input.html.php. Now inside this PHP page, we are going to declare a form. So let's say form. Inside this form tag, we are going to set some parameters, some attributes. So let's say method equal to post. And the most important parameter or attribute of this form tag is something called action attribute and also we are going to pass some data so let's say that label and this label basically is for the name so it should be label and let's say that enter name and after that I'm going to make an input type so let's say input type equal to text and the name attribute something let's say txt and this should be something name so finally we have developed about our input parameter something called enter name so if I copy pasting it here and also I'm going to specify about placeholder so let's enter name this should take about enter email so small e and also this should be something txt underscore email and the placeholder something let's say enter email so if I save this file go to my URI controller and go inside routes.php I'm going to make a route for that so basically let's say that route and this should be something my let's say input form this route should call something my URI this is our controller and this is our controller inside that controller we have made a method something called my underscore html so i'm going to pasting it here save this file so copy this route back to our browser and now let's say that index.html and i'm going to paste the route something called my input form so if i press enter these are the two fields that we have developed something called enter name and the enter email so i want to break these input fields into two separate lines so back to editor and now in go inside html form and let's say that i'm going to put a break tag into two separate lines and also we have to make a button that button basically submit our form data so let's say button and by default this button inside this form tag will be input type submit so let's say submit and also I'm going to specify a name attribute inside this form so let's say name this is only I am taking as attribute so let's say this is name attribute so if I save this file and also I'm going to specify a s3 tag let's see s3 tag and inside this s3 we are learning called input and library so if i save this file 
back to our browser reload this page and now as we can see that this is input library and we have made two input fields and also we need to break into one more line and also if I copy all these break tags pasting it here to make our button in also a separate line save this file back to our browser reload this page now as we can see that this is our input form so if I inspect that now inside this form tag we have no action parameter so that we can submit our form to this action URL so how can we specify that so back to editor just go to routes.php and I'm going to make one more route to submit our form data so let's say route let's say submit and just get rid of this u and just submit form data and it will call also call my URI controller inside that we are going to make a method something called submit underscore form underscore data so save this file copy this method name go to controller and let's say that public function method name and inside this method we are going to receive all the parameters submitted by this HTML form now we have to specify this route this is the route inside this action URL so how can we specify that so first go to controller save this file back to our view file and inside this action let's say that we are going to use called echo something called base URL and inside this base URL method sorry it's a helper function of code igniter so inside that I am going to copy this route go here and pasting it here so if I save this file back to our browser reload this page now here we have some error and error is that call to undefined function base URL and this is because to use all these helper function we have to load our URL helper so if I go to config folder inside auto load either we can load our helper directly inside this file or we can specify inside a specific controller so let's say that I'm going to load our URL inside this autoload.php so save this file go here reload this page now as we can see that it works now inside this action we have some URL and remember so if I copy this URL back to our slide open a new tab and this URL is something over IP address of localhost it means that it means that 127.0.1 this is the also one more zero here so this is the IP address of localhost so how can we change it to localhost instead of this we want something local host so how can we specify back to our browser now if I copy this project URL back to our editor and now inside this config.php scroll down now inside this config.php we have something called base URL right now it is empty now I'm going to paste our project URL inside that so if I save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that the action URL has been changed from localhost IP address to the localhost URL now we are going to submit our data to this route also if we want to append index.php inside this URL means something if I copy this URL back to our slides pasting it here so if I want something called index.php here just we need to replace the function of base URL to the site underscore URL it automatically includes index.php to our base URL so if I save this file back to browser reload this page now as we can see that this is our action URL now we are ready to uh, submit our data to this route so back to editor go to this my URI now we are going to use called input library of code igniter so remember guys if we back here let me make some comment lines and let's say that so far we have seen that how can we load our libraries and how can we make use of those libraries so firstly the first step should be something called this load library and inside that we have to put something called library name 
this is the way to load any library in CodeIgniter. But remember, some libraries are automatically loaded by CodeIgniter. As we have seen so far about my URI library, so input library is one of from them. Okay, so let's say that print R or let's say the data. Inside that, we are going to collect all the data submitted by our form. So this input, this is our library, which basically automatically loaded by CodeIgniter. And we are going to write post. This post method indicates that the form is submitted by this post method. So if I save this file, if I write inside print R, and let's say that data, save this file, go to browser, reload this page and let's say that online web tutor and email address something dummy value pressing submit and these are the data actually we have submitted called txt underscore name this is the name attribute and this is also a name attribute of email address field now if I back to editor and let's say that if we suppose change this method from post to get and remember inside this controller we have used our post method to collect all the data from the form so if i back to browser go to form now if i submit the form data so let's say online web tutor this is email address if i press submit and as we can see that array is empty that's why because we have submitted our form data using get method and we have received using post method that's why we are actually getting empty array so if we back to editor instead of this post method if i change it to get again back to browser reload this page and if i fill some value inside this text boxes press submit and as we have all the data what we have submitted by the form let's say that we are going to take specific values of this email address and the name field back to editor and if i make comment of this print r let's say that we are going to receive the input let's say input and inside this gate method so i'm going to change instead of gate let's say post save this file back here we need to change it here also so post and let's say that we are going to and also again if i make comment of this line and let's say post and suppose we want to retrieve only the name field so txt underscore name it will return the name value of the submitted form so save this file back here reload this page fill some value press submit and this is the name value that we have submitted so back to editor again if I copy this line pasting it here let me put a break tag here and this should be PHP codes, so we need to write into single quotes or within double quotes. So be a tag, and if we suppose we want to take the email field, so this is something here. Save this file again, go back, reload this page, and something we need to submit the values, pressing enter, and these are the submitted values. So basically guys, inside this video, we understood about the input library of CodeIgniter. So basically this is automatically loaded by CodeIgniter and these all are methods we have seen about post and the get method. Also we have seen about how can we submit this form data and how can we receive using input library. If we want to take all the values, we need to use only post or get which basically stores all the values inside the array. And also, if we want to take the specific value, then it will return also. So this is what we have seen inside this video. So inside this video session, guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.